Question 1 then, let's have a look at this one. The points A, B and C, such that A and B have coordinates minus 1, 5 and 7, 11, respectively, and C is the midpoint of AB. The line L is perpendicular is the perpendicular bisector of AB. For the first part of the problem then, part A, find the gradient of AB. Okay, well I've written all the information down here. A is minus 1, 5, B is 7, 11. C is the midpoint of AB, L is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So part A then, the gradient AB. The gradient of AB equals, now we'll have to work that out, let's do a sketch. Mark off our coordinates, here's the x-axis, the y, and the origin. A is minus 1, 5, so let's put that in there, say. Minus 1, 5, and that's the point A. B is the point 7, and up 11, so that should be okay there. And that's the point B. And let's draw the line AB. We need to get the gradient. You can draw a triangle above or below to find out the gradient for the sake of convenience. I'm just going to draw one above, say. That will help me see clearly what the increase in Y and the increase in X is. So the gradient AB, it will be the increase in Y. It's a positive gradient because you're going uphill in the positive forwards direction. So you're going up by how much? The increase in Y is from 5 up to 11 is an increase of 6. And how much are we going across? We're going in the x direction, which goes underneath. We're going from minus 1, the horizontal increase, to 7 is a distance of 8. So 6 over 8 or 3 quarters. Part A done. Good.